Good afternoon, Cherries fans. Welcome to this Back of the Net vlog. Today, AFC Bournemouth entertaining Bristol City at Dean Court. It's the second match in two days. I was off with Tig, Steve and Tom to Brockenhurst yesterday. Went up on the train, had a few casual drinks and watched the development side against a relatively strong Wickham side. They had a few trialists, as did we. They rolled out 2-0 winners, scoring one either side of half time but when we were there it was nice to catch up with uh with a few fans also bumped into frano will dennis uh, i think that uh, our left-sided combo jay-z and jade nancy were also there plus a number of others as well so yeah good good night out in brockenhurst got to say enjoyed it very much but today it's all about the first game at dean court and this vlog's going to be a little bit different because for one fan that i'm about to pick up it's her first ever match at Dean Court. First ever. So we're going to capture the day. Have the chance. So here's the face that I was talking about earlier. A face that you've probably seen streamed on one of our shows. It's Terry from St. Louis in Missouri, is that right? That is right. And this is your first ever Bournemouth game. You've been following the it cherries through back of the net, haven't you? I have. To and what, how did you fall in love with the cherries? What happened? Like, why oh, Bournemouth? Well, it's mostly because of Aki. Mm -hmm. And I watched him in the World Cup and I happened to be in a bar and they were on TV and they came from behind and they won. And I thought, that might be a team I want to keep my yeah. eye on. Yeah. And and, that, yeah. and now she's here in Bournemouth to watch her first ever game at Vitality Stadium. Are you excited? I am. I'm very excited. It's only a friendly, but you know what? It's going to be good. You're going to see some of the players that are going to be adorning the Premier League this season. Have you got an early prediction, Terry? Oh, we're going to win. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that cupboard. And loving the shirt as well. We'll probably go to the club shop and check out the new kits as well. That's right. I'm getting one. <laughs> so, your first view, Terry, of... Dean Court, what do you think? What do you think? Does it look like it does in the pictures? I mean, I suppose it does, but... It you, does. Yeah? Yeah. Size-wise, does it feel bigger, smaller, or pretty much the same as what you thought it would be? I think it maybe looks a little small. Yeah. But that's because you look at all the pictures of all the big stadiums yeah. all the time. But I think it looks homey. Yeah, so well, what are you excited uh, to be doing today then at Dean Court? Singing some of the chants. Yeah. 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 We'll See how many I remember. <laughs> Love it. We'll go to the 1910 bar as well and have a have a look around the ground. Go in the club shop as well. Yep. Are you looking to buy a shirt? Are you? I am. Which one are you going to get? I'm buying that home kit. Love that. Experience of the 1910 bar, and tell me what you're drinking, Terry. This is a this is a Beaver Town uh, neck oil. Uh, what are your a thoughts? Yeah, do you like it? I do like it. It's a little hoppier, but it's a light beer, and it's, I like the drink. Yeah, good. Right, we've um, we've seen the starting team coming out. I've, seen, I've spotted Hensman, so I'm going to have a little chat with him in a minute. See what he thinks. <laughs> The teams are out, the teams are out. Uh, Steve, Hello. just see the team there. Travers, Lewis Cook, Chris Meppham, Lerma, Solanke, yeah. Christy, Rockwell, Smith, James Hill, Phil Billing, Jordan, Zamora. Back three again? Seems like it, doesn't it, mate? I watched a couple of games, as you all know, I was over in Portugal, and it seemed like Jeff was being put into a back three at times. So, no. Uh, no Lloyd Kelly, so yeah. it looks like it might be about three again. I did have the exclusive on that, didn't I? You did. I texted you, you saying I saw him in, in, uh, driving in Penn Hill, but apparently he's back here now. I yeah, no, he's just apparently he's pulled back up in the car park. So I thought he might have like forgot his boots or something. Uh, it's a bit, uh, a bit of one of those, isn't it? I saw it. Why is he not playing? What's, what's and, going on? And do you reckon like Lerma's been... Because we're not awash with centre-backs. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? And do you reckon so... Lerma's been ushered into that spot for the season? Might be. It could be an option. I mean, he can do it, but 
again, I mean, I pointed to the port when I watched Chef Wednesday in Portugal. Yeah. He made a mistake for the goal. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, not, yeah. it's not natural to him, but he can do a job there. I don't know if I'd like to see him you know, the whole season as well in there, but we've still got till middle of September, is it, for the, for the yeah. end of the transfer window? So there's still possibilities we can bring someone in. No, I don't personally like it. No. We, we will see. Mm. We will see how it pans out today. Look who's back. Hello. Matching <laughs> twins today. How's your summer been, all right? So far, so good. Are you pleased for football to be back? Bristol City today. Are you, are you here next week as well? For yeah. Real Sociedad. And now, like this is a real life example of the way that new fans, like people who watch the channel, will know that Heather came on board, supported Bournemouth during like COVID. You didn't have any points at that point in time. But then the first time it went to general sale and through, through Twickets at the time, which is coming back by the way, start to gain points. Yeah. And now you've got the it maximum amount of points. It wasn't even Twickets, it was yeah. just wait for it to go on general sale and jump on as quickly as possible. Yeah. And now you've got the same amount of points as I, you like, you've got, yeah, like got max points. 18 points. <laughs> <laughs> you. So, are you going to try to do a lot of the away days this season? Yeah. All, maybe, if you can. If I can, yeah. Frantic on work and stuff. Frantically changing our rotors as we speak. <laughs> how, how are you feeling about today? Do you think we'll get a result? I mean, it's a friendly, it doesn't yeah. matter, does it? <laughs> exactly. I'm. I don't. I'm not really fast. Though, <laughs> <but> <laughs> yeah. Lose four 0 win for. I'm gonna look just for the. I'll go two 0 win. Do you want to go give one? Mm, two one. Two one. Fair enough. That's what Heather says. I'll tell you what. Pre-match nurse, what Terry, are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. <laughs> you are. I think it's going to be a huge win today. Yeah, oh, this is what I like to see. This is what. So, um, you, you've not been to an MLS game or anything like that, have you before? No. No. Uh, no, I have not. No. Fingers crossed. We'll have um, a rip-roaring atmosphere. There's no popcorn or anything like that at halftime, sadly. But oh. you know, because that's what they have at the MLS. Crushed. But you know, halftime beer or a bovril. If you try a bovril, it's probably too hot for bovril right now. But that's that's a weird kind of meaty drink. Maybe maybe we'll give it a go. Right, okay. We're going in. United, you're miles away, West Ham, you're miles away from it here. It's quite an intimate stadium, isn't it? Yeah, like, do they give you binoculars if you sit in the upper stands? <laughs> yeah, they should. Good shout, good shout. Not here, they, you don't need it here, and uh, the, you know, the pitch is looking lovely, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Do they do like special designs in it? They, they, they're not allowed to be as creative as they want to. Look, the teams are coming out, here we go. There's a bird on the penalty spot. Seems to be completely unfazed. Travis is trying to chase it off. He's having none of it. I can feel it. It's happening. I think so. It's happening. Go. Oh, man. Oh, oh. How on earth are they getting away with this? Welcome return to Adam to this season's vlogs. 
Mate, that burger looks massive. What, what rate out of 10 of that? That looks all right. That looks nice. What are you going for? Out of 10. 10. That's a good start. Right. Am I going to get a bovril to give to Terry? Shall I? Well, you know, she should sample the likes of English football. And Bobra is a staple of English football. It's just so hot, but you know what? I might do it. They're going to look at me weird when I eat it. Just how she likes the notes. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> Right, second half just started, just come back, and Bristol City penalty. Cynical foul of the box, hauled over. Let's see what he does from the spot. Great penalty that, Travis got a hand on it, but 1-0 City. Good start, Terry. No. <laughs> he almost got it. Yeah. So, ah, plenty, of, ah, plenty of time okay. left. We'll just have to score three. It's fine. <laughs> Great opportunity for Bournemouth there. Joe Rothwell put uh, Kiefer Moore in. Close. Yes. We need a goal for you, Terry. We need a goal. Yes. I actually have like three, but I'll take one. 25 minutes, come on. Right, she's gonna go, she's gonna go. Watch the lid, make sure it's all okay. Be honest. Actually, I don't think it's bad. Oh, so she likes it, she likes it. it you can have like another sip if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite up to French onion soup standards, but <laughs> it's a thumbs doable. up from Terry. <laughs> oh, oh my God! What was that? What is that at the far post? Dom threw a goal, unselfish with it. Cross shot comes in, whatever it was. Should have put in the rebound. Let's see what we've got here. Lerma's in. Lerma's in. Oh, well blocked. Corner. Come on, there, boys. That's really good. <laughs> it was a typical training game. Didn't enjoy uh, it, did you? No. Uh, we just saw a lot of people out of position on game. Yeah. Um, he's obviously trying a five. I thought it was more of a five, four, one sort of thing. Yeah. It was, it was, uh, but it was, like you said, it was a bit of a hybrid. Yeah. So we had our two wing backs pushing up very high. That was the only width we had. It's almost like we had a five and then a double pivot. Yeah. With, with Billing and, and Billing. Uh, which, which then could become a four in attack. When, you know, we when, all know how good Billing is at you know, yeah. his defensive duties. I hope that's not the fact because, mm. I mean, you know, Jay Rothwell did all right. I thought he was I thought he was decent, actually. Yeah. I thought he was the one uh, shining light today. I thought he, he chose to drive, drive forward at times, put pressure on their back line. Him and Christie got between the, their lines quite well, I yeah. thought. But he seemed to be... I know, lacking that bit of width and that cutting edge. The bus mate made it already. I know. Had not even started, I love this. I'm Park Rao. <laughs> <laughs> Got to go. Yeah, see you later, mate. So, final score then. Bristol City won AFC Bournemouth nil. Terry, wasn't a great game, but what, you know, what can you really read into pre-season, really? I don't know. I just, I don't know what to make of it. I kind of am hoping that this is like more of a training exercise. Yeah and that they were just trying to work out things that'll look brilliant when we actually start the season yeah and but if not this is going to be a pretty long bad season yeah if well, we don't do anything better <laughs> well look she's been to her first ball with game she's had a bovril which was an experience in itself relatively good reviews from the bovril which is good and also she's got a shirt as well so she's going to wear that loudly and proudly i really want that that third kit shirt when it comes out Re really do like the look of that and what can we read into that i don't i don't think too much 
Um, I think some relatively good individual performances there uh, today, but um, alas, not to be real social dad on Saturday. That should prove more of a test. And look, we all know that when we play the better teams, we play better. So we're still adjusting to this five at the back thing. Um, but it is what it is, as they say. One nil. So back home after the football, you can probably spot these bad boys. Look at them. Seen these beers before? This was a this was a thank you present from Terry. So nice of her. I dropped her back at the hotel and she said, Sam, got a present for you and the lads. So nice. She actually wrote a letter. Terry, AFC Bournemouth supporting legend. You had the Bovril, you had the selfie. You had the shirt purchase at the shop. That's an essential. You didn't get the result, but never mind. Speaking of the football, it wasn't particularly great, was it? Um, Bristol City were a g maybe good value for a cheeky 1-0 win. I think it's probably more 0-0 if anything. But yeah, the formation that we seemed to go with was a sort of 3-4-2-1. It becomes a sort of... It's a defensive 5 which then becomes the sort of midfield four when we're transitioning. And it sort of, there was about 15 minutes or so in the first half where I felt it really clicked. And then what else did we have? We had Rothwell and then Christie as a two supporting Solanke, which sort of worked in parts. I think we were unlucky not to have scored, but positionally it was weird. It seems to be Jefferson Lerma playing like almost as a, a central defender of those three, which I don't particularly like. Um, Phil Bill playing in a double pivot just in front of them, which I don't particularly like because we all know where he thrives in an attacking position. I really hope that's not that's not how it's going to go. Um, good to see some extra minutes for Junior Stanislas as well. I think he had about 18 and Jane Anthony came on as well. And I'm just I'm just reading through some of these comments from Scott Parker in his post match debrief. He's not overly. Um, I wouldn't say positive, but uh, he's being very blunt about the reality of the situation. Uh, you can pause it if you want to read the whole thing. But yeah, it's, it's quite a brutal and honest statement with not long to go. We we really do need to make some purchases, but we haven't so far. And it, just ma it makes you baffled now why like people like Ibsen Rossi have gone permanently when they could have been really good backup and when Chris Meppen went down in the in the first half I was thinking oh my god this could get even worse for us so we can't we can't be getting many injuries threadbare at the moment but obviously you can't judge too much he's he's trying out systems he, he's trying out things but also with pre-season friendlies you want to gain a bit of momentum as well that that didn't provide it whatsoever um hope for, hoping for a better performance against Sociedad but we'll need to hit the ground running against Aston Villa where based on the fixtures after that a win is a must so yeah gonna be a rough old ride this season but join us on back of the net make sure you subscribe thanks again to Terry for the beers lovely touch from you love that from you and yeah we'll um see you in the next video no doubt Got the chest.